Okay, so this is a 98 K2500 uh, GMC uh, with a truck camper on it. And this truck has the 7.4 liter V8. It's a 454. Uh, big strong motor. Don't really, don't really make a whole lot of things like this anymore. Um, drinks a lot of gas, but it's also uh, a really strong motor. This truck has 106,000 miles on it. But when we got this truck, it would have what was called a hard start condition. So when you cranked it up and the truck was cold, it would fire right up. But if the truck was hot, it would spin over and over and over. Um, sometimes for, you know, 15 seconds or something, and you'd have to really crank it a couple times and then it would start up. And that's caused from, uh, well, in, with, with this motor, that condition is created from leaky fuel injectors. So the O-rings go bad on the injectors and they uh, leak fuel into the cylinder. And then when the engine is hot, essentially the engine is flooded. And that's why it's a hard start condition when the engine is hot. Now, when the engine is cold, you know, there's, there's fuel in the cylinder also, uh, but then it, it kind of, it's kind of like uh, putting a choke on an engine, I guess, you know, that it, it fires right up when the engine's cold. But it's not really good for it because it washes the oil off the side of the cylinder and, uh, you know, it's just, just not good for it. So, so I, I actually uh, replaced the injectors with the Bosch injectors. And I did a bunch of research online and uh, that's what people recommended instead of using the factory injectors. And it's been great ever since. Um, it's, uh, it's a big job to do. You have to take all this stuff off. You have to undo the compressor and I kind of folded it back. Um, and there's a fuel rail underneath here. This is called the plenum. You have to take this fuel rail out and got to take the damn distributor cap out. Not not get it um, out of sync with where the with where the motor timing is, and then you put these new injectors on it, and um, uh, it takes quite a while, but uh, sure enough, it it cured that hard start condition. Um, our mileage. I think it probably got a little bit better. Um, this thing, you know, if I've got a tailwind and, and flat ground, uh, I get about 12, 12 and a half or 13 miles per gallon. Pretty consistently, I get um, about 11 and a half miles per gallon. And if I'm really in the, you know, in, in the mountains, I'll get 10 and a half miles per gallon. And this thing is always got a big camper on it on the back it's popped up right now but so it's always carrying a load now when I did that job um, I, I neglected to uh, uh, look at the intake manifold gasket in this actually I believe this truck has a leak in the intake manifold gasket as well there's actually a spot down here you can kind of see oh, let me move my feet see kind of where it's leaking now you can really see it back in here way down in there uh, now you can see a little bit of yeah you can see a little bit of kind of moisture right in here um, and I think the leak is back in there and so unfortunately I'm gonna have to take this damn thing apart again and do the intake manifold gasket um, I actually had an oil analysis done through Blackstone Laboratories or over in the Midwest somewhere and, and they were able to detect, I think it was sodium and potassium was in the oil. And uh, it's a little bit of wear, uh, and, but it wasn't too bad. Um, now I keep an eye on this uh, in, in maybe t twice a year. Uh, I'll have to fill it back up. It'll drop down a little ways. I have to fill it back up, but that's that's when the leak's happening. It's, you can see it, uh, it with the 
uh, with the coolant level going down. So that's going to be a complicated job, big job again. Um, there's some videos online. Maybe I'll try to film it when I'm doing it, but uh, it'll, it'll probably be a long, arduous process like a job like that is. Um, you know, it's probably two or three grand to have a shop do it. And I know just enough to be dangerous with these motors, so I'll, I'll probably do it myself next spring when things warm up a bit um but yeah other than that you know this motor chugs right along i, I try to change the oil every like you know two or three thousand miles um since it works so hard with this truck camper and because i know i'm getting a little bit of contamination from the uh from some some coolant leaking in um but it's a very very uh a very slow leak uh, but uh, but I imagine it'll get it'll get worse with time. So um, so that's that. Thanks for watching. If you hit uh, like and subscribe, it really helps me out. Uh, I'm just trying to make some videos that are uh, helpful for people and and maybe answer some questions that I had um, uh, along the way. Thanks and take care.